Welcome back to Facts of Italy. Nino the Big Brew Dunn is my thing show. Fact the nature guys. Not to be too proud. Full of pride to like and subscribe, you dig. Ha ha! Cause we family, it's why. Also, back to you with further news I wanted to touch on. It's just something that caught my attention. It's, if I could, it was just very intriguing. So Woman shot in the face while trying to prevent daughter's kidnapping in Palmdale. And I wanted you guys to go deep into this and hopefully we can touch on it after the commentary of the news broadcast and let you guys hear a bit. You know. Some terrifying moments in Palmdale where a man broke into a home, shot a woman in the face, then kidnapped that woman's child. CBS 2's Lauren Posen is live in Palmdale where she just arrived moments ago. Uh, Lauren, what are you learning so far? Well, Marcy, you know, this and Marcy and Chris, this is really scary. Whether or not you're a parent, you know someone who is. And deputies are telling us that this mother and this suspect, they did not know each other. Now, behind me, police still have this section of the apartment um, closed off here, this part of the street here in Avenue R. The good news this morning is that that suspect is off the streets and that the mother is in stable condition at the hospital. Now, I want you to take a listen as paramedics took her there. Just very, very sad. Palmdale Sheriff says last night around 10.30, the suspect, his name is Aaron Malden, approached the woman as she was trying to get into her apartment with her 10-year-old daughter. They say he forced his way inside, shot the mother in the face, and then took her 10-year-old. Deputies found the man down the street, and they also found the child. Again, they tell us that this woman and the suspect are complete strangers. Now, the 10-year-old was not hurt. Here's what we know about the suspect. Deputies arrested Malden for attempted murder, kidnapping, assault with a deadly weapon, and firearm. And we know that he's in his 30s. So, Marcy and Chris, since we just got here, I'm going to go uh, talk to the deputies here and see if they can tell us anything. The big question is, who is the suspect? Has he known to them? Has he done this before? Um, so, a lot of questions we need to get answered for you this morning, and I'm going to uh, get to it right now. Chris, Marcy, back to you. Wow. I want to say, um, my heart goes out to the victim. I hope she get well from the gunshot wound because she looked like she's in very much pain. It's like, whoa. And honestly, um, maybe some things have for a reason that I can't really want to show all of that right now or can't show it. Um, I haven't hooked up my computer to get online, but I will. Eventually, I will. But I don't know if. I'm built for certain stuff like that. I don't. I'm, I don't say that to say this. I'm not trying to over exaggerate or be any funny or, or sarcastic. Now, honestly, I don't like seeing blood. I just got used to it, like being in the hood. I seen so many people get shot, stabbed. So I'm like, oh, blood. But let me see blood somewhere. I'm like, oh, I don't like seeing blood. You can tell. You've been around me. I walk up to somebody bleeding. I'm walking off. I'm like, oh, I ain't trying to see all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I have to see blood. I, I, I could take it, especially when something happened to a bad person. That's how I know I come from a, a club that I hate that I come from. Because they be like, this person snitched. Like, I was watching this video. I'm just giving you a prime example. I was watching the video. And they were showing this, you know, these guys kidnapped this evil, evil, evil motherfucker. And they was torturing the fuck out of him. I sit there and watch the whole thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, he was an evil motherfucker. And I'm talking about him did shit. Kid had, I can't explain the stuff he did. But when it came, when this karma came back around, and he met some real live gangsters and some that was actually about it, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy it. It's like a movie, you know. I could watch. Cause I know you. I know your character. You're a bad person. You know what I'm saying? I can't watch nothing bad happen to a bad person. It just it hurts my heart. I mean, to a good person, watching something bad happen to a good person, it really hurts my heart. I'm like, I can't see that. You know, bleeding. And I'm like, let's get him to the hospital. Now, if something happened to a bad person, I'm like, oh, oh, bleeding. Blood don't bother me then. That's how I hope I was never forced to ever do it. I'm glad I, I will be glad and stay glad that I don't you know, have to do nobody, no type of situation like that because I don't care for bad people. I really don't. I don't have a hard for bad people. 
something happened to him, it happened to him. You know what I'm saying? What is your definition of bad? My my definition of bad is an evil person that's out here harming people. You know what I'm saying? Now people, oh, do you do this? Drug dealers, pimps, cops. I don't consider them bad people. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just the ones that fuck it up for the rest. The crooked cops, the crooked gangsters, the robbers, the ones that wanna, you know what I'm saying? I don't know motherfuckers that I'll be talking about, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Long story, I said that to say this. Let's touch on cool commentary afterwards. I'm going a little bit further. I'm just giving you a prime example, because that was a very gruesome scene I seen. Mm. My heart goes out to the family. And basically, what happens, in case you're a little bit uninformed, it's really drastic. The mother was actually doing what a mother does. She was doing what a mother does. That fucking AC is fucking annoying my ass. Okay. She's basically doing what a mother does. And on um, long story short, she ended up trying to uh, prevent her daughter from getting kidnapped after they was approached by a uh, burglar, robber, slash, whatever you want to say. The guy ended up shooting her in the face for trying to protect the daughter in some kind of way. I mean, it's just crazy, man. And, and I hope they pretty get what he deserve. You know what I'm saying? In jail, they're going to fuck that dude off. Long story short, I hope you guys like the like the bark tag. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you this. This is my favorite YouTuber, the cousin poet. I mean, the cousin pastor. That's what I'm going to go by, the cousin poet. I love that he's Matthews. Look him up. He is so funny. He's so that is a real Christian. I don't know. So many Christians get on my nerves, show. They get on my nerves. Like, I don't know what herb they smoking, the what thunderbird they holding. I just be like, oh no, nah, they get on my nerves. That dude is cool and funny than the fan. I can chill with him all day. If I, I was at his church, I wanna go to his church. He's so funny. <laughs> Thinking about him how he cursed. He just a Oh my god, I sat there and watched for hours. I, I know you were saying, you were ashamed. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy my broadcast, this is what I do, you know what I'm saying? And they, I just glad to do what I do. And I'm proud of my subscribers, the subscribers that have been subscribing. I have a lot of views. I've been like, wow. One video I was looking at, I have like 500 views already on it, less than one day. So I was like, dang. Just talking about Teddy, Teddy Ray, the comedian? I'm like, wow. And I was looking at another video. I posted um it's close to a hundred views. I'm like I'm just proud, don't you know I'm saying you can't you gotta be proud of what your progress is you want furthermore like I have to be grateful and I'm grateful I'm very grateful for you guys so thank you. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the comments here. And my no and I also want to add an ending lesson to the comments here. Like I say all the time, ladies, be careful and aware of your surroundings. Fellas, be careful and aware of your surroundings at all times. When you out and out and you getting stuff out your core, that's the most vulnerable time of your life because you are unloading groceries, you're getting stuff out your core. You should, sometimes you should have somebody watch you or help you, or but either way, you always stay alert. Keep you some mace if you're a lady, a uh, uh, taser. I prefer a taser if I was a lady, but a man will go down with some mace. You, should, you can mace a man with a gun, he ain't, he ain't no baby shoot you. You know what I'm saying? So mace, taser. Uh, it's, it's for you ladies that don't like weapons that are not volatile, um, don't like guns. That's understandable. Get you a taser, some mace. I prefer a gun. You hang around me, you're going to have to get a gun. I don't like scary ass females. But, um, all oh, with that being said, man, my work goes out to the family. Lesson learned is avoid what we can. Some things are inevitable, some things kind of happen, but only if you let it happen. Don't say something. I believe you can abort anything, even death. That's just my opinion. That's what I feel. That's my theory. That's how I re that's how I come to my realization that I'm participating in nature. So with that being said, it's just how I feel. So um hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I'm, I'm going to do what I do. I'll be back with you.